Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we started talking about was the opposite of negative values, or the opposite of opposite values or numbers. And uh, that gets a little bit interesting. We start talking about the opposites of opposites. Uh, but let's see if we can figure it all out. So in the first area here, we have read each, descri uh, each description carefully and write an equation that represents the description. So we have the opposite of a negative 7. So let me show that on a number line quickly. Opposite of a negative 7. So if I'm starting with 0 here, and it's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, numbers, negative 6, and negative 7 over here, I need the opposite of negative 7. So if I'm starting with negative 7, and I need the opposite of that, that means I need to go 7 digits away from 0 in the other direction. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 would be over here. So the opposite of a negative 7 would then be a positive 7. Okay. Now, how, how do I write that as an equation? Well, I want the opposite. I'm going to start with negative 7, but since I want the opposite of that negative 7, I'm going to write it like that. Okay, so the opposite of a negative 7 equals 7. So that's how you kind of uh, write it as an equation. So that negative symbol represents two, or can represent two different things. It can re represent the fact that the value is on the left side of 0, or it's a negative value, or it's representing what an opposite is. So here we have the opposite of the opposite of 25. Well, if I'm starting with 25, I want the opposite of the opposite. So I could write it like this. I want the opposite of the opposite of 25. Okay, I can also think of it as, well, I need the opposite of the negative 25, kind of like that as well. Um, but this is more true to form this guy over here, the opposite of the opposite of 25. And as you can see, if I want the opposite of the opposite of 25, you will usually going to wind up with 25 again because my two opposites bring me right back to where I started from the beginning. Okay. So the opposite of 15 would then be negative 15. Okay. And then the opposite of a negative 36, well, if I'm starting with negative 36, right, and I want the opposite of that, well, that's going to bring me right to 36. Okay. So those are the interesting uh, things we've talked about today. This is all these integers and the opposites are getting quite quite interesting. So that's the deal. What else? So let's see what else we could talk about here. Read each real world. All right, let's get to some real world descriptions. Write an integer integer that represents the opposite of the opposite. Oh, okay. So we have a temperature that rises 15 degrees. Now I need the opposite of the opposite. So if I'm if I have 15 degrees and I want the opposite of the opposite. Well, I'm going to just wind up right where I started to, or right where I started at, right from the beginning. I'm going to wind up with 15 again. But that's how it's shown, okay? Because I want the, uh, here's my first opposite, here's my second opposite. And once again, those negative symbols can be used to show a negative value or to show the opposite of something, okay? And that's the deal, folks. All right? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.